This is the Old City District in Tallinn. Our guide is Evelyn Kazikov. She suggests that we visit the observation platform on Tompea Hill. She says it has the best view of the city. Evelyn works as a graphic designer. She's lived in London for several years now, but she's visiting her home country for a week. So what do you like the most about the city here? It's very small, it's cozy. It's like, compared to uh, London, it's obviously small. So less noisy and yeah, <laughs> things like that. Life is slower here, definitely, than in a big city. Evelyn visits her family in Tallinn every couple of months. Her favorite part of the city is the Old Town District, which became a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site in 1997. One of the many historic buildings here is the world's oldest operating pharmacy. It opened in the early 15th century. There are lots of new buildings in Tallinn too, like the Moose Pudel Cafe. It's popular with young visitors from all over the world. Evelyn left Tallinn for professional reasons. She told us about that last year when we met her in London. She moved to the English capital to study at a prestigious design school. At the time of our interview, she was doing freelance work for several major newspapers, including the New York Times and The Guardian. Her goals were to increase her client base and improve her needlework skills. She did get those new clients, and she's still perfecting her embroidery. Right now, she's putting together a portfolio of work samples. Not everyone understands Evelyn's artwork at first glance, including some of her fellow Estonians. She says she's just trying to put a modern spin on a traditional handicraft. Probably the most difficult part is to explain uh, experimental work in Estonia. What's the worth of it or what's the why, why are you doing this? Because Estonians are very pragmatical and everything needs to have a reason. Evelyn now wants to show us a more traditional side of Estonia at this outdoor museum in the Tallinn suburbs. She's wearing a traditional Estonian costume that belonged to her grandmother. Our reporter gets to dress up too. This is a place where history really comes alive. The farmhouses from the 18th through the 20th centuries are particularly interesting. And the traditional costumes made Evelyn and our reporter the center of attention for some of the tourists. The pair then decide to dress down before heading off to their next destination. Evelyn wants to show us the more modern side of Tallinn at a design office that showcases creative young talent. What is uh, Estonian design like? When I think of modern Estonian design, it's to me it's a mixture of uh, this Nordic kind of minimalist feel. It's evident uh, in everything you see around here. And, uh, but there's uh, also this strong uh, Estonian craft tradition which uh, somehow comes through <laughs> in all these uh, objects. Our next stop is the Estonian Maritime Museum, which opened a year ago. The museum takes visitors on a colorful and informative voyage through the country's rich seagoing history. The main attraction is a submarine from Estonia's pre-World War II fleet that was in water until recently. Evelyn says the museum is a fine example of how to present history in a contemporary context. That evening, Evelyn shows us another example of modern Tallinn, a former industrial area that's now occupied by design studios and bars. This part of town is popular with young people. Be Evelyn Kazikov has just one day left in her vacation. <laughs> then she'll head back to London. Our reporter is moving on as well to his second to last stop on our European journey, Stockholm.